Yo, what's up, guys? It's Alex, and today we, we I will be in uh, doing courses, be teaching you how to solve four Rubik's cubes: two by two, three by three, four by four, and five by three. And the crew. P.S. Before you begin, and you do have the crew, you just pull out the body really hard. I mean, pull out the head head until it comes off. And you all can also make the button parts. So enough with that. And let's start off with Pokemon of the day. It's not actually a Pokemon, but who cares? Mega Turbo. Mega Turbo for my recording station. Which I'm currently at, the recording station. Attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to one of your Mega Evolution Potion. Pokemon. So, let's start. Today we'll start off with... Yeah. The two times two times two cube. Right, guys, I actually have a gem series cube, but I, I was too lazy and I didn't want to take it out of the big box, okay? So I just took my official Rubik's one I got at Walmart. And unfortunately, and it looks pretty blue. The there's more black than I thought. That. The last time I used it, I thought there was less black. I thought Kleenex and Kleenex all boots. So I just mixed it all more. So step one: solve the cube, the white face, the white face. Properly, you have to solve it properly, okay? So solve it until it's like, see, it makes sense. See, the orange and the green is attached here, and this poor orange is attached with the other orange. You see? And this green is attached to this green. And blue is attached to blue. But whatever, enough chit chat. If it looks like this, do the following moves. Put, put no if something looks like this put place in this position and do up there if it looks like this it might take off several times you have to do it several times when it looks like this do that when it looks like this dot, do that. There are some I didn't mention in the video. There are too many because there are too many. So just I'm a guess. Guess then you'll do it eventually. And then another wait, let me just show you wait a second, please wait. Please wait. Microsoft is loading. If something like this happens and the corners aren't right. Position it until two corners are right. Horizontally, or whatever it's called, or diagonally. If it's diagonally, you have to do it twice. So make sure two corners are correct. If it's corner, don't care about where the position. But if they're, they're horizontal, like this, put these two at the back of your, what you're facing and follow the moves. And follow the on screen moves I am making. Let's see. Done. And and no matter what your two by two by cube cube is like, it will be solved no matter what. Enjoy. Now, time for the next cube we're going to be solving. It is known as a crew. Say hi to our favorite crew fans. Fine, may not be our favorite, but there's the crew on crew. I just got the set USA for information. 
then. We're kind of going to be solving it like a 2x2. Two two. The first, the first base, which is hard. So do that with common sense and and transform no, uh, transformers knowledge. Transformer. Knowing about transformers. You get it to look like this with the hole at the bottom and get it the bottom. Don't focus on the top then. Make the bottom layer look like this, okay? Now, you look at the top layer and do the exact same thing that the 2x2. Two but once they're all blue or it's impossible to tell, if it is facing up, that top, that means it's the yellow, for example. So this is the white, let's just say, and this is the yellow. If if it is facing the top, like here, here, because you know this is the side and this is the top, that means this is yellow. This too, because, see, it's part of the side. This is yellow too. What's this? Ah, you see this? It's not yellow because the top is here. It's something else we don't need to worry about. Here, same thing, not yellow. So these two, we position it correctly and do the same thing at the two I do. Right, up, right inverted, up, right, up, up, right inverted. And we do the, int we do that until it's finally good. So I'll just do that off screen right now until, until the scenario I need. WT, wait, what the heck? Oh, great, Cube Jam. I hate Cube Light to Cruise. Oh, they're, they're always jamming these things. They're always jamming. Wait a second. I just, I just literally hate it jamming. So let's see what else. Hmm. Oh, I'm really sorry it's taking so long. So I hope it's not that bad. So in the meantime, you can just read the Pokemon of the day a few more times if you would like. Like while I'm trying to get this good. Sorry. Now. The same thing, position two corners correctly. It's hard to tell if two corners are correct, but if once you can tell they are, you do that thing, okay? Do you remember it? Fine. If you actually forget, fine, I'll just show it to you again. Okay? I've got two corners correct. These two are now correct. But put them to the back. Down. Back. This is back. I'm turning it back twice. Turn it back twice again. Up twice. And turn. And again. Obviously, no matter what, it'll be solved. Time for the next cube. I'll just go get that. Three! It is just three by three by three cube. It's a gem series cube. And remember, at the end will be the very long tutorial on how to solve the four times, four times, four. Warning, do not skip ahead to the four times, four times, four part unless you know how to solve a three by three because you will need to know a lot about 3 by 3 so if you don't know how to solve any of these 3 by 3s please just follow on to this video or else the first thing is top the white properly so i'm just going to do that right now i actually went to a rubik's cube competition before and i certainly am terrible i'm terrible at I'm, I can't do it, but I'm not fast enough. I'm not really fast. Wait a second, I'm just gonna solve that up. It's around 40 to 50 seconds on average. You know, and my... And I'm gonna... So, once you get the bottom layer, remember, sensible. 
and then make the center pieces line up with these pieces. And so then that part, it gets tricky. Put the white at the bottom, like this, face it like this. Look on the top. Okay, look on the top. Find a piece that does not have any, find a piece on the top layer that does not have any yellow on it. For example, this one. If this piece needs to, this piece needs to move down, down here. See, this piece needs to move down here. So to do that, we place it here so these two color match, and we do this. So make sure these two color match, and if you want it to go to the left, down to the left, this is what you do. So make sure these two again, that, up. There we go. And then you see something that was once here is not here. Now, what happens if we need to do it to the right? Ugh. Wait a second, let me just find something that needs to go to the right off camera. Which will take me a second. Ugh. Come on, there has to be something. Ah, finally, this blue and red needs to go to the red. This part, okay? This goes here. So we do, so if you want to go down to the right, you do this. There you go. And then something else once here is now here. Do that for all of them. Just do that for all of them. Wait, what if you have no more left with with like uh what in some cases what happens if second this happened oh no well just take it out and put it back in okay so take it out put it back in in some cases there okay? and put it back in if it wait a second if it looks like this do the following moves if it so pretend there's no no corner pieces for a second. Ignore all the corner pieces and look at. If you see a cross, then ignore this part. But if there is a line, if it's like a line for the center pieces, do this. Is that, oh, I did it wrong. Wait, don't follow that. For a second thought, don't follow that. Because I did it wrong. It's still hard to do it on a camera. Ooh, I hate cameras. So, I'm used to doing it in my lap. But let's try this again. There you go. So, if it looks like this with the line, do this. Wait, what? This is so hard. I can't remember it. Let's try this again. Yes, and then a cross will be made. But what happens if it looks like this? A V. So make sure the V is like this in this exact position. And then it will have the cross too. It too will have the cross. Now, if it was like only a dot, yellow dot in the middle, like this, only the yellow dot, then just do one of them, and then, and then proceed with something. Now time for the crosses. If your cross looks like this, with no corner, yellow corner pieces, but just this, make sure one of the yellow pieces is here, and then do the following move. So, and, wait a second, and, and then do the following move, the up thing. If it looks like, wait a second, I'm just going to make sure it's hot. So then this, do this. But if it looks like this, put it here. You have to do it several times. It'll do that again. And then up. It's actually the same thing. Hmm. Now, now here comes the heart. 
this is the same part in the two by two. Remember? Um, so put the two the corners. Now, if you want all the pieces to move counterclockwise, do this. And the cable will be soft. But what happens if your all of them need to be rotated clockwise? I have a different solution for that. Please wait for all you. If you need them to all move clockwise except for the back one, then do this. But wait, sometimes this one, there are none of them already right, and make sure the right one's at the back. But if there are no right, just do the left, the right, and then make it right. So, like. so if it needs to be clockwise, it looks like this. And then your 3 times 3 times 3 cube is done. Time for the last cube you're going to learn. The four times four, the four by four by four, which I'll now. There you go. Four by four by four. It's a piece of paper. Definitely. The four by four is not a piece of paper. Ha, <laughs> just joking. So I have a gem cube right here. But it's a four by four gem. Four by four by four, actually. So. You might have noticed there are no center pieces on the four times four. So the first step we're going to do is make four times four by four by four center pieces. Okay? So let's start off with the white. So make four whites, all four whites that in the middle go like that. I'll show you what it looks like. It should look like when you're done in a second because I have to do two. Like this. Do that. Aha. Something you might not know is you don't want to mess it up. Here's one thing algorithm you'll always use. In order to move, white is opposite to yellow. So we are going to get this yellow here without bringing the white. We do that. Put a non-yellow piece here and make sure the yellow piece is in this corner. And we do this. And then boom, they're both here. And it's really easy. So do the whole thing for the yellows. Please wait. So that's so all I can do. I have a chance to do it. It won't mess up your corners, but it won't mess up your just If I maybe, I don't know if it messes up the corners. So do that for the whole cube. Remember, I just want to make sure it's an important. I'm going to give you an important tip. For you to remember, always remember. But if you want to see the tip, you just have to wait one moment. If you get yellow, blue, blue, and red in these positions, you know red opposite orange, blue opposite green, yellow opposite white. It can't go wrong if you get the yellow, blue, and red. So do it for the whole thing until you're done. And you can pause the video for some time. And now we're done. All six center pieces. I mean, all six center pieces. Okay. Next. Next. The next one we're gonna learn now is how to make edge pieces. So, yeah. If you have, when you have two edge pieces that are like this lining up, like across from each other, do and. Exact same position across from each other. Do this. A second, I'll do that again. And then look, those two are now is now here. So what happens if you find them? A uh, second. I just want you to wait. I'm sorry about the waiting. The waiting is very terrible sometimes. What happens if you encounter? Well, sometimes you might not find any that are like that, so you just have to do a few turns without breaking it, and then you'll do it like this. Uh huh. This is hot. Fine, not like this actually. 
just wait a second. Ugh, just give me. No, I shouldn't. So imagine this was well, the other way around. What you would do is right, right. I think right, yes. right up, back, right, right up, back, inverted, and right. Okay. So do that for the whole thing. Do that for a while and come back. To this video but you can wait for a very long time because i need to do it too fine just kidding when you're done just solve it like a three by three but remember one those four inner pieces equals one center piece on the three by three and two of those you know like these two side pieces will represent one of them so that's why you have to do this this step and carefully without making any mistakes and peace out.